What's going on YouTube? Guy in the back seat here from Doom Feather Games here with a little bit of news. Um, it has been officially spoiled that Windrose, the Elemental Lord, is a thing. Um, this monster hit me by surprise because I really wasn't anticipating this type of effect, but evidently Konami says, eh, we'll try it. At least that's my opinion. So let's break it down. Typical elemental uh, lord bullcrap, you know, have five wins in the grave or five of this card's element in the grave. Special summon me, no other way to make me, and if I'm on the table, my effect resolves, and if I leave the board, then I, you know, then you don't get a battle phase next turn. And you can only use this effect once, and its effect is Harpy's Feather Duster. Yes, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Now, a lot of people were advocating that True Nade was going to be the effect of the Elemental Lord. Since everything has been duplicating a banned card, you know, you have to go and and like look at the banned cards and see what they're using, see what would be balanced, and go ahead and throw those in. With Windrose being spoiled this way, um it makes me question Konami's judgment a little bit, but at the same time I'm I'm happy that they did it. One, you need to realize Windrose is still a monster, so you can still solemn warning it. You can still solemn judgment it. You can still bottomless it. You can still do a lot of things. Secondly, it requires you to have five wind monsters in the grave. Now granted, we are going to get Harpies and Phantom Beast Planes before this uh, card comes out. So that's going to make this way simpler to do. But at the same time, Harpy's Feather Duster, as a card, is not necessarily as bad right now as it was back when it was in the meta. You have to remember, we have Starlight Road now. We have Huge Revolution is over. We have, you know, stuff like Stardust Dragon that just all in all prevents destruction. I mean, you have chainable stuff. People have actually learned the game, learned that they can chain that lance that they're about to blow up, learned that they can chain their Reckless Greeds and jar of greeds and whatever the crap else they're playing. So I'm not sure how huge of an impact this is going to be. I mean, we're not in a meta now where people, you know, set mirror force and rely on that entirely to get them protected for the whole next turn. We still have Veilers. I mean, we have Max C, for Christ's sake. We have hand traps and monsters. So, like, it, I don't know. I'm not advocating that Harpy's Feather Duster comes back ever. That card is busted, and we don't need just drop spell, destroy all yours, high five, I win. You know, we don't need that, but we do need invest all my resources, get five monsters in the grave, activate this effect, and you can still veil me. I like that, and the fact that they're putting a monster on the board that relies on, you know, not leaving to keep you where you can still fight on the next turn. Granted, you'll be able to fight that turn, but still, you'll lose a 2800 body, which is impressive. Now... This, you know, I mean, we had Grand Soil, who's Monster Reborn, which, and we have Mulan Glacia, which is Delinquent Duke, and we have Pyrorex, which is our Ring of Destruction. Now, if you're not familiar with these cards, obviously you're going to know what Monster Reborn is, you know, because it's main deck staple in every single deck in the history of the game since it came off the list. And we have Delinquent Duo, Ring of Destruction, and I'm sorry that the computer's lagging for some weird reason. And now we have Harpies. So, these four cards in some way have been remade now where they're accessible. Now, what, what puzzled me from the beginning with Elemental Lords is Monster Reborn. It's a legal card, so why would they, you know, make this? And so that kind of got me thinking, maybe they're basing the effects of these cards off of banned cards from a certain era, from a certain list. So I went back and looked, and I found that Monster Reborn was last limited in September of 2007. Last banned in September of 2007. Come uh, March of 2008, Monster Reborn came off the list and was legal to play in any deck at one. So I started looking at this list, and I realized True Nade isn't on this list, which is part of the reason, I think, why it was not True Nade that was listed. Now, this could be, you know, an inkling that Monster Reborn is probably going to hit the list soon, which I think a lot of players would like. Um, not saying, you know, it's not saying it's going to, you know, break the game if, if it stays, but if it goes, it'll definitely balance it severely. 
So I was looking at this list of all the cards in 2007 that were banned, and I'm realizing that we're making a whole bunch of, you know, assumptions with, you know, what could be the next two, because that's if they make light and dark. I mean, realistically, we kind of already have a light and dark Elemental Lord. Even though they're not the same, they're similar. I mean, if you look at stuff like Archlord Christia, which says have four light monsters, have four fairies in the grave. Granted, that's not the same, but it's close. And stuff like JD that says have four different light swarms in the grave. That's still close. It's still not an Elemental Lord, obviously. It still doesn't have that battle phase clause. But if Konami is going to feel like being a completionist, then you have to look at this list, in my opinion, to figure out what card they might remake as a card. Maybe nerfed, maybe not so nerfed, maybe, you know, insanely broken. So I was looking and realized that they've only duplicated one trap. So the only other trap that I thought would be worth it in this might be something along the lines of either Time Seal or something closer, which my first opinion had been Crush Card, but it wasn't banned at this time. Because I don't even think it was a legal card. And if it was, it was a prize card, so nobody had the thing, so very few people could utilize it. So then you have to look at spell cards that they had accessible at this time. And you look at Butterfly Dagger Elma, we're, def we're definitely not getting that back. And then Change of Heart, which, you know, that would be a little stupid to get a 2800 body that grabs a monster. Uh, any card, actually, would be really dumb. And then you have Darkhold, Delinquent Duo. You know, we've already got Delinquent Duo. Darkhold was banned at this time, which surprised me. Graceful Charity would be ridiculous. Harpy's Feather Duster we just got, Last Will, Metamorphosis, Mirage of Nightmare, Monster Reborn, Painful Choice, Pot of Greed, Regeki, Snatch Steel, and Forceful Sentry. Now, Painful Choice would be weird, but would not be bad in my opinion. I think that it would make, you know, like if it was a fire one that had Painful Choice, that would be stupid. But, you know, it's not fire, so who knows? But as of right now, um, Joel's pick and mine for the dark one is obviously Pot of Greed. Mainly because the greed art, uh, like the uh, the spiritual art of darkness greed, or spiritual art of dark greed, or whatever it is, says you draw two cards, and your opponent can reveal a trap card and negate it, but still, it's Pot of Greed. Now, if Dark Worlds can get Pot of Greed, then Dark Worlds are going to go up in tier. So I actually really don't want Pot of Greed to be it, but it's the most logical choice based on the other thing. Now, if you also notice on this list, uh, Dimension Fusion is not banned here. Which Dimension Fusion is the closest thing to the light elemental or elemental spiritual art. And so I would have picked Dimension Fusion, but unfortunately it wasn't on this list, so that kind of nerfed that. But I still think it could be Dimension Fusion. But one thing that we're worried about is, because they brought back Duster, if they bring back this, the game's going to get weird. I mean, granted, it's less destruction than Judgment Dragon, but it doesn't cost life points. And it's all your monsters. So, I don't know. You know, personally, I'm extremely happy that they finally spoiled the Wind Elemental Lord. From this picture, I really can't tell what it's going to look like. Or, I mean, I see some talons here. I think that's a wing. And there's a body, obviously, and some feathers. But I don't know where his head is. And if his head is like this thing, he looks like a frog. And if it's right here, that looks like a beak or something. But I can't really tell. Like none of the elemental lords like looked really solid until their full scans were out. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that you know this video was informative, and I'm glad to finally hear that we're getting back Duster in a competitive meta, sort of. But then again, it's it's still scary to me to see such a massive destruction effect hitting the board as early as turn one, potentially. You know, with some decks, and uh, hopefully we don't get this in dark. Because that would be dumb. Like, Dark is already a popular element. You don't need to give them more draw support. And if it's Regeki for Light, then uh, I'll be uh, quitting for at least one format. And we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, anyway, as always, have a nice day. Guy in the back seat, doing for their games.